Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Settlers, a Rise of Empire. I know what I'm saying. Now it's time to go into level number five. I really like this section of the game because it feels very chill, very relaxed. It's just, it's it's it still has stuff that you have to do, but it's not. It's, it's, it, the music, it's, the atmosphere is just very chill. Your Majesty, I am your most appreciative and obedient servant. I have most recently been in the northern lands along Drengia Reach, seeking allies against the Red Prince. There is great danger there, Your Majesty, and great opportunity. There's a large settlement at the coast here. This is the base of the Viking raids against you. It seems that Crimson Sabat established these bases. She is encouraging the Viking attacks against you. Not all the Nalindias are enemies. The Viking bard Thordal has an encampment in the area. Perhaps he can aid us. We should establish our own base of operations and investigate how the Viking raids can be stopped. We must strike against the Red Prince before it is too late. Let's go. Also, Hakim, Kim, Hakim, is probably my favorite knight, and I'm going to explain why once we get into the level. We've also met Crimson Zabat and the Red Prince, who are oh the bad guys. So. I mean, the Red Prince is just the the main bad guy, so... And Crimson Sabat works for the Red Prince, so... We have... an enemy. We have to find Thordal, Lord Song, and hear what he has to say about the Viking raids. We will not be played for fools. Destroy Crimson Sabat's outpost in Aramstrand. Okay, if you say so. Uh, the thing about Hakim, ha ha oh, I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, it's fine, is that he actually reduces the cost of building and upgrading. So, instead of it being three wood to build a woodcutter's hut, it only costs two. And that's the same with every other building, except I don't think it counts the important buildings. So the castle still takes 25 stone, so... Uh, but anyway, we're still in the northern lands, so let's build up some more food as quick as possible, and a few other things. Uh, we will need this iron over here eventually, because we're going to need an army. Uh, but I guess I should also send Hakim yes, over this way. Leech. My knowledge of construction reduces the cost of upgrading buildings. He said the thing. You must be Thordal. My liege seeks out your aid. Ha! I knew that I would hear from your ruler sooner or later. Crimson Sabat, the Red Prince's agent, has been riling up the younger Hotspurs among my people. She convinced them to raid against you. Then, while they were away, her troops seized most of our fertile territories for her Red Prince. Prove to me you are more honorable than Crimson Sabat. Destroy her outposts at Savangar and Mosdal, and take back our territories. Okay. So, we have to destroy some stuff for orders. him. And to claim some territories, but that's going to take us a little bit because we actually need to set up a base first, so... Also, I did just notice that my I started speaking faster when I upped the speed of the game. I don't know why, it's just how I am, so... Uh, yes, but anyway, we're going to also need to start collecting as many resources as possible. And upgrade our city as quickly as possible, obviously. Uh, but we're going to need some stone, and there is stone over here, so let's see if we can claim this territory. But there is also a bear down here. But there is sheep, so if we can take out the bear as soon as possible, we, we might be able to... Um... We might be able to get... Some sheep. Maybe. Actually, no. Hang on. Ooh, if I play this right, I might better get sheep now. Because we claim the territory, that means we can get 
the sheep. But I need them to get past the bear. Forward. So I'm gonna sacrifice Hakim. He also has an, another ability I that I want to show. Ah, uh, but for the moment I need the sheep and clothes sheep and all sorts of things. No sheep. I figured. Th thanks for letting me know. Uh, I'm gonna build another road there, just to be slightly more efficient. Hopefully. I need to work on food a little bit more though, is the other thing. And wood. I think that's all good. I think fish is going to be mainly our food supply for this level. Um, might even actually be able to make some sausages, possibly. Since we've got sheep for clothes. But it depends on the the, the clothes, cl clothing demands. Uh, but anyway, let me put a road there. Sometimes when you put in roads, you can also destroy some terrain, like rocks. But not all the time. It's just something to keep in mind. Like, I have... Uh, you, there usually is stuff to keep in mind, so... Uh, but anyway, it's become uh, winter already, and I don't have much food. I don't have much food, except I also have a little bit more time thanks to the one month of extra fish. So hopefully we can get some extra fish in that time. Otherwise I'm going to have to work out something else for food. And I mean, the buildings themselves actually have more materials in them, so... Uh, I might make one tannery. Depending on how much wool we get, we might make another uh, weaver. I'm going to make another... Now I'm going to hold off for a second. Uh, I guess we've got everything underway for the first promotion. Of course. Thank you, Hakeem, for agreeing with me. Uh, also on the map we can see... Uh, not really on... Not really by looking directly. By zooming in over here, but by looking at the map, you can kind of see, kind of see, it might be a bit difficult on the recording. Actually, no, over here we can actually kind of see that there are red territories as well as pink ter this pink territory over here. Uh, we'll go check them all out eventually, but for the moment, on our way. let's just keep working on the settlement. Our storehouse is full. Well, that's unfortunate. I need to do something about that, but I don't know what exactly. Might just bin some wood since we've already got a whole stack. I'll upgrade the the storehouse after a bit, but I want to do the castle first so we can level up. Since we're already ready ready for that. There we go, sheriff. This is a lofty rank. I shall work hard to justify your trust. Okay, so we've reached the first level, which means that we can actually make weapons now and build our army. But I'm probably going to wait a little bit longer. I wish I could put this here right now because that would have been a very convenient spot at the end of this row. Our storehouse is full. I know. How is it full? I just spent 25 stone. Also, that's just not going to work, sadly. Although I think that's area where trees are supposed to be growing, so I don't know what I've done. Quite possibly, but I was aiming for over here with the trees and that woodcutter, so it's fine. Let's get rid of wood, I guess. That's actually a big mistake. I just made broom makers. Ah, uh, it's fine. We're gonna we're about to get some more stone, and we have plenty of woodcutters to bring up the wood levels quickly. And the broom makers should help balance things out as well, so it's not a complete mistake, it's just mostly a mistake. I'm gonna build over here first, so I can hopefully keep things under control a little bit. So the only other thing I need to upgrade now to get... Oh no, food. Oh dear. Speaking of dear, let's make some sausages. Hopefully that can fix things up a little bit. Maybe. We can also possibly distract them with church, I believe. No, I think that's a lie. I think I'm lying to myself. Also, I might have just slowed down production a little bit by doing that to get some more gold, which I don't need. It's fine. Let me... That's that's on strike. So as you can see here, the, the when the food runs out and it goes yellow and then red and then completely runs out, people will just stop working, go to the town center to just wait until there's food again. Which is unfortunate because I need to actually make more food before more food can be made, basically. And you can get in, into loop of not having stuff. 
Especially if you have to have, like, people who make clothes or people who make uh, cleaning supplies and they just don't do it anymore. Because then they, those two, th those other things will run out as well. Also, I've just maxed out. I've the the problem is food. The problem is always food or clothes. It's never, it's never cleaning, cleaning supplies. Far together, I am honored to receive this title. Now that you have been promoted, you should prepare your city. Your settlers soon will need entertainment. The first step to provide entertainment for your settlers is to build beehives. You will need honeycombs to produce tasty mead. Excellent, southerner. You know how to handle problems. Soon the mead will be flowing. I can't wait for it. Excellent. So yes, we can now... Now you will need taverns to produce the needed amount of mead. So now we can make beehives, or beekeepers huts and beehives for them to harvest from. But we can also make taverns to make mead, which is entertainment, which is basically the next resource after... Oh, well, my, my, my throat did something, it's fine. That's the next level after uh, cleaning supplies, basically, so I don't think I'm going to need this many beehives or this much honey production with two... Uh, beekeepers huts, uh, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna accept my decision and see where it gets me It's really unfortunate with the way that I've done this, but I think I should be fine uh, But now we can make a ton of taverns which we can just make like So many of these basically especially with how many extra hu uh, Hives I put in the honey production is going to be through the roof, so I can probably do go through the roof with taverns. Except that's going to cost me a lot of wood, so I'm going to need to wait a second. Uh, but again, this isn't this is this. Mm, I can smell the taste of mead from miles away. Good job. Honey is not a problem, is what I'm trying to say. No, entertainment is not a problem. Just like um, every other thing except for food, maybe and clothing. Just, it's all, it's always fine. Also, I'm gonna need to press tab again because I always, I always forget to press tab to check what the, everything is. If that makes any kind of sense. We're almost to the next thing for that. We need me to be able to promote, uh, Hakeem to, uh, count, but we're getting there, so. Need to upgrade that. I'm just, uh, my, my usual goal is promote first and then figure out everything after that. Uh, anyway. Let me see if I can fit this here, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it. That would have been nice, but no. Okay, now the only thing left is mead, which is producing finally. Ah, uh, there we go. And this we're maxed is out. A lofty rank. I shall work hard to justify your trust. And now we have bathhouse, which is basically free entertainment because it converts water from the the marketplace into entertainment. So, I'm gonna put in maybe two or three of these. Or so I'm running out of space because my city is terribly designed to not fit anywhere. Or anything anywhere. I need to not also build on top of the trees there. Uh, how are we doing for food stuff? I think we should be alright. We also have a lot of honey. An iron mine will soon be depleted. That was faster than I was expecting that to run out because I'm I barely started working on my army. I really need to work on that, but I'm also waiting for wood right now. Uh, can I upgrade that? No, I cannot. I'm getting close to the max of that. Um, what's the... That one's also getting close to being maxed out. We do have 200 iron, though, so that would make sense why it's running out. Also, honey is going to go through the roof, so that's going to be a problem. In a minute. Running out of that. Slowly. Quickly. Also, beehives can't be harvested at all in winter. Just like farms, or grain farms, that's one. Which I could also build some of that if I had space right now. And also wood and all that, but anyway. Uh, let's go exploring. I think I want to go south. On our way. Ok, 
Okay, so there's a, a Viking village here. Yes, my liege. I don't think it's going to tell Unlearn me about them. Mine has been depleted. Good. All is ha happening as it should An be. Iron I'm iron out of clothes. Find any iron. I'm trying. There's a pink Viking village up here. And there's another one which is the main village over there, but I'm going to come back to that later, I think. As you wish. For now, let's go over this way. On Just a little way. bit. I feel like it's also something that way. I would do just to be satisfied in each level, is to try and get every uh, claimable land that you possibly can, but it's, it's not worth it. But it, it's it's something to do if you want to satisfy yourself, I guess, but anyway. Uh, I ooh, I'm going to run into a problem soon enough. An iron miner can't find any iron. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, at least you're going to be gone now and I can actually make use of the clothes that you would be using up. Okay. Good, 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 good. I still haven't even caught up from the second level. And by level, I mean promotion. But anyway, still trying to catch up on my army, which I should probably put in some barracks, except I don't have enough wood. Story of my life. <laughs> in the game, specifically. Okay. There's that. Okay, we can now get tons of settlers. I should also do a festival so I can get production up. Because that's an important thing. Uh, I can't fit that there. I have really messed up the city. I've really messed it up. It's such- it's so messy. Uh, but anyway, I need... stuff. And I guess I should send my army over here when, once it's ready. Uh, Hakeem has a second ability, which is on his hotbar. So if we bring him up here to these, uh, sol soldiers, I guess. They'll attack on him. Hang on. Stay, stay back a bit. On your orders. So we can lose half of them. At the very least. Stay. Stay. Stand ground. Help we can actually convert you. enemy units. Let me aid you. Uh, we don't need to be aided quite at this second. But that's okay. My people. Let me aid you. you can aid me if you want. But yes, we can convert enemy units to us, uh, our side. But only one unit at a time. Also, these wolves are making trouble right now. Uh, also those... Attack. ones up there. I've already lost that unit, so... Yes, uh, but my possibly... I. If we can get the... Forward. Yeah, we go. Attack. Having the, um... The Vikings help out is probably very beneficial. Ah, uh, but anyway, we just lost... Hakim. We have no soldiers over there, and we need soldiers so we can actually take down this place. But for the most part, I think we've basically got this territory already. For the most part. Um... I really need more wood. Why don't I have so much wood? Every, oh, the wood production is going... Don't you dare complain about... Yeah, you thought about it. Don't you dare complain about entertainment. I have 52 entertainment. I'll have... That's, that's the highest resource I have, and I have such low food and clothing. I feel like the butcher shop was a mistake, but it's holding me alive right now. Uh, I also need to take out that bear, is the other thing. I'm gonna send you over there. So we can take out the bear. Um, upgrade this. We need more bowmen. Let me throw a festival just to keep people happy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, stone quarry is running out. A beekeeper has no beehives. Yes, that's because it's the end of winter and you always... There's usually somebody complaining at the very end of winter. When it's just starting the next season. Which is really dumb to me. Because that that's just when... That's just the start. That's that's Attack. exactly when they can start working. Uh, but anyway, let's take out this bear. Charge. Okay, good. At once. And now let's go take that outpost down because there's nothing guarding it anymore. Which that means that we can just go take it basically. <laughs> just gonna make sure that all my troops are going up that way. That looks like I'm out of stuff to spend. Also, I haven't mentioned already, you spend, you spend gold, defeated. as well as the weapons, to get uh, soldiers or 
archers. So, uh, but anyway, now I think we might actually have caught up finally, except for maybe the fact that I'm running out of food, and probably should start a grain farm quickly because the season the seasons go on very quickly. Lining it up with the road is very helpful. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, bakery. If you can fit in there, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Okay. I don't have much, but Charge. I can go take this outpost because there's nothing guarding it anymore. The Vikings helped a lot with this outpost, but I was taking it a lot earlier than I should have. Also, I don't have... I... Hmm. That's unfortunate. On our way. Uh, I don't have uh, any more torches right now, so I'm going to have to go either back to my city... Or, I can do At something once. silly. <laughs> like, claim this right there. At once, as you command. This is very silly. I can't believe I'm even... Oh, it worked. Cool. I didn't even but need it course. to be built. I think it might have just been because I was Don't in an enemy ter... No, uh, an allied territory. Technically? We claimed a territory. Because these, are, these bandits are technically... I mean, they're Vikings, so they're... Vikings. You have freed Mosdal from Crimson Sabat's troops. Claim back the territory of Mosdal by building an outpost there. Excellent! You claimed back Mosdal. Yay! I just stole now, their outpost show and it that works. You are an honorable knight and help my people build three cattle farms in the territory of Mosdal. We claimed a territory. So here's the thing. A stone quarry has been depleted. That's not the thing. Um, we a have 190 iron. Can't find any stone. So the thing is, uh, never mind. Also, what was I saying before? I can't remember. But the thing is, there's uh two iron mines in this area, and once we complete this task, this won't be our territory anymore. There's also cows, but we don't need to worry about that. The only requirement is actually build cattle farm, like cut cattle farm huts. We don't need to build pastures, we just need to build three cattle farms. Doesn't matter where, just- oh boy, I am in trouble. I need to get food under control so that, uh, what's it called will balance out. Clothing will balance out. How much wool do I have? No wool. Wool is so slow. Uh, anyway, I think I'm good on iron, so I'm just gonna build three cattle farms and I don't need cattle. Probably. I'm going to regret it, probably, but it's fine. Uh, but anyway, now. Let's change where our soldiers go. To over there. And you. To over there. We can't trade yet, but that's okay. Do that. I think everything is upgraded that I can possibly use no stone for. That's fine. You just need to wait. You have built the cattle farms. My people will appreciate that. A territory has been lost. It's fine, that's what's supposed to happen. So now that's gone to pink. As a gift, I guess, because this was their territory to begin with. Uh, but now it's time to take another one. We can also see uh, this base over here now, since we are allied with them, I guess. Uh, we can also trade with pink, which they sell... Cattle and iron, so don't even need to worry about the iron in there, or the cattle, if we spend money. Uh, you are undecided, so we can't trade with you yet, but you sell sheep, clothes, and iron, so again, the allies are more worth it than the territories, so. Anyway, let's go up this way. Let's take this place. Attack. Which I probably should have taken this place first, Come. since this has the side of less right. defense, I must basically. To the castle. Keep fighting. Way less defense, wow. Territory. Cool. Uh, yes. Excellent. You have cleared Crimson Sabat's troops out of Svenanga. As you Claim are. back the territory of Svenanga by building an outpost there. Congratulations, you claimed back Svenanga. Show the people you are better than Crimson Sabat. Build three hunters' huts in Savanga's territory. Our troops are under attack. They are? Are they? By your <laughs> what, what happened to them? Once. I don't even know. Anyway. Yes, uh, over here, 
is uh, the big, the big territory. Look at this stuff. That's that's what I call a foothold. Uh, anyway, let's uh, build some hunters' huts just out in the middle of nowhere, and then this territory ter territory will be turned over to this this village here. So it's got some stone in it, but again, we don't even need stone anymore. We are just set for life, basically. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start accumulating my army over here instead of anywhere else from now on. Just because we... This is the only red area left. We could even steal their troops if we wanted to slowly, but also they're going to just make more. And it's a... It's a bit of a, a risk each time to my knight, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> Since when has my knight mattered? You have built the hunter's huts. I can taste the roast venison now. Nice. My I'm glad you can. have seen your good works and are willing to aid you. Go to Ulrich Borg on the western shore and speak with them. A territory has been lost. We are furious at Crimson Sabbat's betrayal, Southerner, but our warriors have yet to return home from the sea. Our warriors will be very thirsty when they return home. If you want them to help you, it would be wise to prepare enough mead and send it to us. You do not stand a chance against me and my forces. Give up now. Nah, I'm good. A cart has been dispatched. Also, I just realized I could be monopolizing on this. These moose over here. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna just increase my clothing just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna build another sheep farm. Uh, I guess for the moment I'm also, also gonna a buy some extra clothes. Has no but, green field. Uh, but anyway, let's send this mead. A cart has been dispatched. I have so much entertainment, you have no idea. Especially looking at how much a entertainment I have. Arrived bearing goods from afar. Good. All is happening as it should. Also, I, sh I have so many things I'm not utilizing right now, but I don't, don't even need to, so... My city's uh, about to thrive more than ever. Can get rid of this cart by doing that. Uh, but I don't need to. As you command. Maxed out my army. Ah, uh, there's wolves. Okay. The mead has arrived. We are well prepared for the return of the Drengir fleet. Now you must prepare for the assault on Crimson Sabat's fortress. We must attack Crimson Sabat's fortress at Aramstrand, but we have to get through her wall first. Let's build a siege engine workshop. We'll this is why we. As soon as you have destroyed the gate at Aramstrand. <laughs> They're ready to go. Look at them. Oh, hello, crab. Apparently, there's just a crab there. You just see stuff roaming around on the world. It's 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 cool. Uh, but anyway, we now have the ability to build siege engine workshop, which is you need to be promoted enough to be able to build this. So. But it converts iron into siege engine parts, which we can spend to get siege engines. Who would have thought? Who could have guessed? Could you guess? Probably. Uh, anyway. We can build a very useful siege engine now that will help us to crush gates. A battery one. ram will enable us to crush the gate at Crimson Sabat's fortress. Let's produce it at the siege engine workshop. Okay, I've got this all under control right now. Also, why is this lit up? I feel like this shouldn't be lit up, but it's lit up for some reason. Is there somebody walking through? An ally? Probably, yeah, there was an ally walking through. Okay. Get to spend this iron, finally. Since we still have 98. Also, we have a just 
I have a ton of fish, so I'm gonna utilize that a little bit more for food. I think clothing is balanced right now, and I can't really do much better than that. Unless I used gain, but then I'd need my hunters to be doing better than they are. Or I could get more hunters out there in the world. The battering ram is ready. Let us command a battalion of sword fighters to control the battering ram. Select the soldiers and right click the ram. Also, just quickly, because I have some soldiers that are two and four, if I move them in front of the barracks and then select them both, it has to be in front of the barracks. There has to be a barracks nearby. Uh, if I select one, it can, can it can move them together. Oh no, I can actually just pull them out from the the barracks. So I just took one. So, uh, yeah, I have an uneven number of things now. So never mind. You send them back to the barracks and you can add extra ones to their group by spending a little bit of money, which is what you do anyway. But anyway, so to use the battering ram or any siege engine, you put... The battering ram is ready to attack the gate. We have to move the battering ram cart to the target area, Sabat's fortress in Armstrand. Thank you. Well we done. Our battering ram cart is in position. To use the battering ram, we must assemble it first. So like any siege engine, we have to assemble it by having uh, a battalion on it, and then we can actually upgrade it. The we can also- been built up. I can hear the horns of the Vikings. The fleet has returned to Ulrichborg. We have to hurry, or the warriors will be too drunk to help us. Let us attack the gate of Crimson Sabat's fortress. If we breach her defense, the Vikings will come to help us. We can only unbuild it, though, if it's got a battalion on it. And if there is no battalion on it, it won't move when it's in built-up form. So, but anyway, let's have our army take care of the soldiers that are trying to defend. And let's take out this wall, which will take a while, so I'm going to speed it up. Getting darker. And the gone. Is down. I can hear the Vikings' war cries. They must be near. We will not be played for fools. Destroy Crimson Sabat's outpost in Aramstrand. You've destroyed the gate. Now we'll fight alongside you. We have a bone to pick with Crimson Sabat. Forward. Also, if it's raining or snowing, it's slower to destroy a building. The territory. Thank you for helping my clans. Your honor and bravery is worthy of a song. I would like to join you in your fight against the Red Prince. You may have won this time, but my master, the Red Prince, will find a way to turn the Nalindir against you. Well, there we go. I feel like that's probably one of my favorite levels just because of ha having to take the territories and then give them to the um, Vikings, which seems like a strange thing to say. What well, like you, you, it, it feels good to lose the territories. I don't know. I enjoyed it, but anyway, that is it for now, though. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.